All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to Dyna Demos. This is Rod. And right now I am uh, doing this ride to do this tune for the Power Vision. So real quick, what I had to do um, is I had to marry the Power Vision to the bike. So it downloaded the stock tune on the bike. Um, by the way, I have put on the HPI 2-in-1 exhaust. Anyways, I did like an idiot i didn't read the book or anything all right but anyways i called my buddy on my bluetooth and he actually walked me through it so what i did was i went to the screen to to tune the bike and uh i just used one of the dynajet custom tunes well they have like a stock one they have a stock one uh i think it was like a uh sns slip-ons or something and they have another tune with Bassani 2-in-1. So since my exhaust wasn't on there, I just picked the closest one, the 2-in-1. All right, then you gotta download that tune, turn the bike off for 10 seconds, and then turn it back on and go to auto-tune. And then it gives you this green screen right here. And what you do is you just ride the bike after that. So that's what it's doing. It's reading all my numbers right now. So I'm, I'm just trying to smash a little bit, ride through all different uh, ranges of RPM. And what the what the tuner is doing now, it's actually just learning how I ride. But yeah, guys, uh, I've been MIA for a while. I. Uh, been traveling a lot for work haven't really had a lot of time to ride uh, the weather out here in Virginia is bipolar similar to North Carolina and uh, I live I live in between DC and Richmond so if you're in those areas and you guys want to rip or you guys know some cool spots to go rip hit me up because I've been slacking feels good though right now uh, my buddy told me he's like you'll start to feel it as it's as it's mapping probably should have ways on yeah so my plan right now is to get on the <laughs> excuse me get on the freeway for a little bit I was gonna go up uh, Maybe like six or seven exits on the on Interstate 95, and then I was gonna come back on the highway, and then I was gonna ride a little bit through town, and then I, that was gonna be it for the day. The thing that sucks about Interstate 95 is I tell people all the time the traffic here is the worst ever, and they're like, "Oh, what do you mean worse than California?" Because I mean, I did live in California. I did the whole San Diego to LA thing like every other weekend because when I was dating my wife she lived in Los Angeles but anyways uh, so I'm, I'd make that drive all the time you know and I can tell you that the traffic in Washington DC the DC area is the worst I've ever seen um, and I think it's because you only have three lanes you know, in California you have six lane highways or freeways, there's, it sucks, uh, traffic here sucks, man, I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. So here, we're getting ready to, uh, get on highway one. By the way, gas is really cheap here right now, uh, down by my house, regular is like a buck eighty-eight. Um, so here you can see the, the uh, power vision's doing its thing. 
my bike is idling a little hard right now yeah so like i said i've been traveling a lot guys uh haven't really had a whole lot of time to ride uh, last in february um i know it's a shorter month but i probably spent i probably spent three weeks of february sleeping in a hotel room just traveling a lot for work and uh, I did take uh, a little vacation at the beginning of the month went out there uh, visiting my wife's family got to see my brother it was it was actually a really funny story so I was staying in Old Town and uh, right I was staying at that hotel right across the street from Cycle Visions and it was like the day I think we got in that night at like 9 o'clock at night so woke up the next morning and was outside and who do I see? I see Lego. He had got in I think the night before too and he's riding by going to Cycle Visions to get a tire. It was it was pretty funny. Uh, it, was, it was just like one of those things where you're like damn small world. He had just got into town. I, I hadn't seen him since September and uh yeah i just walked outside i seen him ride by seen him park i'm like lego what's up man he's like oh shit and uh anyways glad i got to see him we went out and had uh lunch drank a couple beers reminisced but uh yeah he's out there in california now as you guys know enjoying the uh the beautiful weather i'm still out here you know bundled up But yeah, I did have a, an idea, something that I do want to do, which I think will be really cool once I start uh, traveling again, is what I want to do when I go on these, these work trips or maybe even if I'm on vacation or something, I'd like one day or one like afternoon. Yeah, my bike's idling kind of like shitty right now. But uh, anyways... Well, my plan was to like rent a bike and just kind of ride around the city that I'm in maybe I'll put it on like Instagram or something like hey whoever's in wherever let's say Boston Massachusetts you know like try to rent a bike and meet up with some people show me around your city thought that was I thought that would be cool kind of meet a lot of people, ride with some cool people, hopefully. Um, but due to all this coronavirus stuff, you know, a lot of uh, my future travel plans got canceled. Um, which is good and bad, you know. It's good because I'll be at home with my family a lot more. Um, and it's bad, obviously, because I won't be making as much money as I would as if I was traveling. But, you know, the good thing about money is you can always make it, you can always make more. That's good. Just kind of downshifting and upshifting, trying to, uh, Just ride through a lot of different ranges of like RPM. Right now I'm doing about 50 and 2500 RPM. Yeah, so I uh I had the install video of this thing. The install was pretty easy. I think the the setup is also easy, but I'm not gonna make a video on the setup only because I think there's a lot of other good videos out there. And I'm sure there's someone that can speak way more intelligently about all the numbers and stuff about this power vision. Um, but I will do a review later i want to ride my bike a few more times um you know and when it gets warmer but here in a couple months i will do a review and let you guys know 
how my bike runs um, and what I think of it once it finally learns my bike I also am going to call power vision because I know they can also send you tunes or they can customize tunes for you so I think I'm gonna hit them up I'm gonna run this auto tune for a little bit the little uh, the preloaded tune and then I'm gonna auto tune my bike to that but I think in in a, in a maybe a few weeks or months I'm gonna hit them up and see if they can send me another tune because I think you can you can store like eight tunes on this thing and then maybe I'll run that for a little bit all right guys well I'll let you guys go that's just a little update of what I'm doing right now what I've been up to um, hope you guys enjoy this video like I said I will be coming out with a uh, another video on this power vision i'm gonna keep running this auto tune yeah like i said hope you guys enjoyed the video uh if, if you guys do run the power vision uh, let me know you know drop it drop in the comments or you know slide in the dms of our instagram page let me know what works for you